Okay, before I'm going to start this uh, mixing, I'll show you the new packaging of Mastercast 121. This is it. These, the bottles are interlocking, interlocking I guess it is. And I really think this is important. This conforms to non-toxic. Um, right over here, if you read this bit, it says you know, California is really on the top of this, uh, you know, anything that's toxic. And it says none of the ingredients, raw materials in this formulation are known to cause cancer, birth defects, or any other reproductive problems. I think this is important. Um, I cannot, you know, really say it often enough, but I think this is very important to look at. Uh, this is also suitable for use as a food safe coating, but not as a cutting food preparation surface. And that's important too, because I know a lot of people do these um, wooden boards, serving boards, and I think you have to go with this, this type of resin. Absolutely. Don't be a cheap ass and do some, you know, cheaper resin that doesn't say uh, this, because I think that's important especially when you're selling it. Of course, you can't put it on a cutting board because when you cut, your knife is gonna go through that stuff and then there's gonna be, you know, stuff coming off of it and you're gonna be eating that, so you don't wanna do that. But as a serving uh, uh, tray, this one is the way to go. And of course, it's really easy when you uh, mix your resin because of uh, the bottles are, you can take them uh, out of each other, see that? But just leave them in and you'll have a perfect uh, way to see if you have enough uh, resin each of each side. So that's really cool. I love that. Okay, be right back. I'm going to mix up some more. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I just finished um, mixing up my uh, resin. And I am going to do a little experiment with the new cell base. Cell base paste from Eli Chem. I'll show you the, uh, the packaging and I'll show you the new resin in a bit. Just want to put this on here. Just get it all out. There it is. Now, what I want to do is make a nice smooth base. There we go. Don't want to have it drip off yet. Just want to make it nice and smooth. There we go. And then let it come down here. There you go. That goes pretty fast. And then let it come down here a bit. But I want to keep most of it on here before I do anything. Okay, it's on. So what I'm going to do is uh, give it a, a tiny little torch to get out the little bubbles. Just a little one, like that. That's most of the bubbles. And then I'm going to add resin with a little coloring. I colored it with a pasty sort of a paint, as you can see. I'm going to give it some color here. A little bit more blue there, a little bit of blue here. A little bit of blue there. And of course a little bit of yellow. There it is. Now with a card I'm going to swipe it that way. Just make it 
nice and long like that. And then pull it down further here like this. And this is just with a uh, with a card, plastic uh, card. And then we're going to give it a little bit of heat. There you go. Now I'll give it up, put it up close so you can see where it's developing the the little cells. Oops. There it is. Now this is a really nice little background. It's starting to look really nice. I'm just giving it some time to uh, develop. As you can see, there's some more development here, some more down here. I should zoom it in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. Let's see if I can move this down a little bit. So here you see all the cells developing. bit so you can really see it and I think if you want some uh, extra really nice extra looking cells you can always use the resi blast I'm gonna add a little bit of resi just here and there And that way you get your a lot of control over what you want to do. Now you have uh, the best of both worlds because you have these huge cells. And of course you have this beautiful background with all these little cells. That makes it really special. I think I'd like one back here too. A little bit bigger cells. And as you can see they're developing as we speak. And this is really getting huge which I really like. Because I hear a lot of people saying you know I want really big cells and this way you have total control So this, this is really, <laughs> really big. I really like that. Putting in a few more drops. A little bit to give it something down here. There it is. That is really nice. I love this. Here it's developing. This hasn't been on as long, but as you can see it's also starting to get pretty big. Maybe I like something up here just to connect it. Let that develop a little bit. Just connecting uh, on the ends. Yeah, 
and maybe down here too. A few little ones. Okay guys, I will just let this sit and uh, do its thing. And I will be mixing up some more. I'll do that on a little... I have some leftovers. So let's do something with those. So I'll put this one away. But look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? on side and put some more of this on just the really just the last little bit that I have cleaning off my little card putting that on and let's put the green on that's it it's sticky. Can't get my card off the table. Okay, let's see. There you go. Okay, that was that one. Kind of like it. I like how it's really light and letting it, you know, sort of the base color coming through. That is really interesting, isn't it? Look at that. That's uh, the Resi Blast. If you want to do real fun stuff in, uh, in your epoxy or resin, whatever you call it, I think this is uh, something that will really give you some control over what you're wanting to do. Then we'll do this. Pour it back over. Let's see what happens when we give it a little blast. That's a nice effect. still have some other color. Let's see what happens when we put that on top. That gives you a sort of the same uh, effect that it uh, that you get when you swipe with uh, just acrylic paint so that is uh, nice to look at. Just gonna give it a little. There it is. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.